acoustics extremely important in a home voiceover studio. Do we talk about it enough on this show? Uh, a, a few times. But we're joined here by Ron Knight. Ron, welcome to our show. Hey, thanks for uh, joining me here at NAMP. Yeah. Good to see you guys. And you're with Jokavi Acoustics. Absolutely. I've known these guys for about four years now. I guess some of your people might remember me from voiceover over the decades. And I've started working with this organization because when people were asking me on advice on what am I going to do about my home studio, uh, there's a lot more to it than just getting your favorite little USB microphone and patching it into your deck with Pro Tools and then the next thing you know you're still dealing with the sounds of your room. So this organization has got this company around the world for 21 years in about 47 countries has been coming up with great sonic solutions, acoustic treatment solutions and to boot needless to say they look pretty doggone good. Yeah, aesthetics is always important to a lot of our clients and uh, these are very different from you know, charcoal and purple and, and that sort of thing. Well, not to downplay, but a lot of the other off-the-shelf solutions might be available at your typical retail chain. Your general choice has been gray, camel, and maybe purple, and it's the same plan of five fingers with a little bit of an absorbent foam. That may do the trick in terms of just drying up a room and mopping it up, but it's not really solving a lot of the other acoustical solutions that you may need to have solved in your voiceover yeah. home Yeah, I'm looking over here. I mean, I've, there's a combination of different stuff. We've got, obviously, diffusers at the bottom, yes, that's but right. then we have right. some things up top here <laughs> that are more of a combination of reflection and absorption, right? Yes, so that is correct. how would that be an advantage in a small booth? Well, I look at it this way. When you're getting your typical off-the-shelf stuff, whether it's Ultimate, Marker Tech, some of the other usual suspects that are out there, you're coming up with one solution and people are just patching it wherever it needs to sure. go. The thing about sound is while there's no such thing as sound proofing, we do have sound mop-up, clean-up, and sound confusion of sound waves. And really, the more you can confuse a sound wave and mop it up from all of its different respective problems, bass, low-end frequencies, high-end frequencies, mid-ranges, something like this, aside from being pretty doggone gorgeous to look at, I mean, can you imagine if you were recording in your den and you had a whole wall made of something like this? And we have a variety of options. This is actually doing three different things. It's got an inner core of sound absorption. Within every square on the inside, it's got a texture, which is also creating that, uh, not a parallel wall or that typical thing where you're having a reflective surface, so sound is going to bounce off of that. Then what's happening is that by capturing the sound wave in the room, it's actually forcing it into a pattern, which is then forcing it to get absorbed into the outer shell, which is also yet another reflective or absorption type of material. Wow. So that's all going on within one panel. And a price point on something like this for the voiceover guy, gal, $46 for a two foot by two foot panel. So when you think what? about just getting something like that and saying, how am I going to treat my room? I think maybe all of us would agree that's probably a little that's bit more interesting than just good. a little five fingers sticking out of the same gushy foamy stuff. Right. That's that's actually an excellent price point. You Amazing. wouldn't need a whole lot of I thought that was going to be $150, frankly. <laughs> yeah, we, have, we do have that as well. Yeah. yeah. Well, these we are, do, this are much more complex. This firm does everything from concert halls, professional recording studios, pavilions, uh, theaters, the whole gamut, you know, even yeah. in terms of restaurants and every other typical isolated sound problem trap. But for the home studio person, this is probably, you know, another thing they have is what we call studio kit in a box. So if somebody says, gee, my home studio is going to be in my closet. It's four foot by six. I actually am doing this in a den. Maybe that's 12 foot by 16. We have six templates ready to go by size, by color, and they can literally go say, I need ATP, uh, ATP kit number four, uh, version number B. That gets sent in a box. They can just throw it by template right up into their room. Mm, very nice. And that's... And that's a, that's a really great thing for anybody who really doesn't exactly know what they want to do, that they can get a kit like that and, and you show them how to arrange it. And, uh, we can, you know, I mean, if they really are going to go open up a real pro-grade studio, then we're really happy to come on out and show them how, oh, to, yeah. how, to, how to put that together. We do that, sure. don't we? Absolutely. Um, tell us about what's unique about that substrate, that, that, that white foam. foam yeah. sure, Is that uh, being used in some of these products? Yeah, this is. I mean, some vocal people or voiceover people might know what I'm talking about. We used to have a New York, New Jersey studio, which was really busy a lot. And we'd step into a little whisper room or something like that. And it, it had a really nice quality, more or less, to just dampen up the sound. But your voice talent would get in there after a while. They'd feel like, gee, I'm going hoarse. I, it feels like I'm getting a scratchiness in the throat. Literally, the joke I've told is we've had people go out, get those spray mister bottles, and bring them back into the vocal booth, trying to get some humidity in there. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of things going on in your recording environment for your throat. This is actually used in hospitals. This particular foam is an antimicrobial. 
It's hypoallergenic. It is antiviral, antifungal, and this is something they use in a medical environment, but at the end of the day, you can see the fine cellular weave in that foam. Right. As a sound absorptive property, it's great, but for the vocal person, when using this, it's pretty doggone great because if you're having issues with your throat, this can be a solution. Is this as effective, if not more so, than like a, fo a typical foam type material? Again, it all depends on what's going on in the room. Yeah. When these guys came to my rescue, I had a recording studio that was built in the flight path of an airline airport. Yeah. And uh, that had all kinds of issues going on. Sure. There's a different foam for a different solution. Absolutely. It's based upon the environment that you're in. Nice. Where do, you, where do we get this stuff? Where would the typical voice actor go to pick out some of this product well, online? Well, funny that you mention that. <laughs> Let me tell you, George. That's why we're here. That's why we're here, George. I'm the North American rep for this company. I do have a site for what it's worth, kegtrader.com. They can come over there and take a look at the kits in the box. But they also have a brand new service, ta-da, which is, again, mentioning that this company is out of Portugal, but now in North America, they have a little online website called Acoustic Shop. And we can give you a promo code. That is uh, the 10% discount going on with NAM. Those people who are in voiceover, reach out to me. I'll give you a code. You get the continued 10% discount for ordering anything online from out of the United States supply. Awesome. That's what I would do. That's, it sounds like a great deal. Well, Ron, pleasure to meet you finally. We certainly yeah. know your name from the voiceover uh, business. I've seen your name too out there in the world, and I'm glad you guys are blogging and keeping nice it happening. Nice to meet you, George. Thanks for coming by. Appreciate it.